Hello, ladies and gentlemen. The name of the game today is perhaps the most critical unit related to industrial drawing and drafting that we will cover. It is germane to every other aspect of industrial drawing. Every other industrial drawing class requires that you understand this concept. You will be asked to apply this in a number of applications in a number of technical fields. It will help you with blueprint rating. This is pretty much the worst possible week not to attend the class and the worst information to skip or rush through. The name of the game is Multi-View Drawing and Orthographic Projection. We take a look in the course pack starting at page 3-1. We can see our objectives and We've got some questions that go along with this particular unit of study. Uh, what are multi-view drawings and why are they used in industry? What does the word orthographic mean? Uh, how many views can be generated from an object? I mean, why might we eliminate some of those views? Right? Why are three views most often drawn of complex objects? And when is it appropriate to draw a single view or two views instead of three views. Well, this is the worst mistake we can make in preparing orthographic drawings. How can we develop our ability to visualize things? How can we represent hidden edges, and cylinders, holes? And then what are center marks and center lines and how are they used on orthographic multi-view drawings? What was this precedence of lines? And who is ANSI? And who is ASME? And what do they have to do with the conversation? All right, so these are the points we'll be considering as we go into our lecture today. Easiest way to get started is perhaps just to start with a cube. Yeah, simple cube. Um, we all know what cubes look like. Uh, we've all picked up a set of dice and played around and rolled them or looked at a box. Uh, we know that a cube is made up of square faces. There are six of them. They are joined at adjacent edges and they form a solid 3D piece of geometry. So that is a cube. Now, what I'd like to ask you is what are the shapes of the faces on a cube? Are you thinking that they are squares? Well, if you said squares, you're correct. Good job. Now, when you look at this cube, though, we're holding it in our hand, we're looking down on it in 3D. Uh, do you see any squares? Now, be really careful with your answer, okay? Uh, I know you are thinking these are square faces, and the truth is, if you were to look directly at them, uh, they would be square faces. But right now, are they squares? Well, we'd have to say the answer is no. What, what shape is this? See, uh, it's a square, but it's been tipped up at an angle, right? So what is the actual shape you're looking at? Well, if I had to describe this shape, and I just traced its outline, I'd say that's a diamond, right? It's a rhombus. And uh, the same thing for this face and this face. I have three diamonds, or three rhombus, rhombi, tipped up and touching each other. And these are the shapes that we see when we are drawing a 3D object, like a cube. We're not seeing the squares. Now, this is problematic because in engineering drawing, you have to be able to draw things exactly as they look. And you need to draw them exactly at the size they really are so that they can be fabricated, so they can be manufactured, so they can be built. So here's what I've got to do. I've got to draw this in such a way so that I do see a square for that face and a square for that face and a square for that face. And what we call this is multi-view drawing. And uh, this is going to be a little odd because normally when we draw things, we draw them as we see them. Like if I was holding this cube in my hand and looking down on it, that's what you would see. So you would make a quick sketch of what you see. 
So here I am, and I'm going to make a quick sketch of what I just saw. And here's what I saw. I saw something that looks like this. Right? And of course, looking at it in that 3D orientation, well, it does look like a number of rhombuses, right? So what does it really look like, though, if we were to pick it up in our hand and look straight at it. See, if I were to pick it up and look straight at it, directly at it, well, I would see a square. And then if I tipped it down to look on top, well, then I would see a square again. And if I spun it to the right, I would see another square. So what you could do is you could take your cube and you could hold it about six inches in front of your face and you could eyeball it with the goal of eliminating any kind of distortion or perspective. You see, I don't see the top or the front or the back or the bottom, do I? I'm just looking at this left-hand side. All right, and we can go around our cube and we can see that it's made of six squares if we're holding it in this particular way and we're looking directly at it. Okay, so yes, of course, cube is made of six square faces, but right now in this orientation, we don't see the true shape of those faces. We see the rhombus. And in engineering graphics, uh, this isn't going to fly. We have to be able to draw things in their true shape at their true size. So what we do instead of drawing it like this is we make a drawing called a multi-view drawing. Now here's what it looks like. So a multi-view drawing is going to have, big surprise, multiple views. Okay, I'm drawing on some graph paper here because I'd like things to be as straight as possible, even though I'm sketching. Here is the front of that cube. And then directly above it, I'm going to make another sketch. And that will be the top of the cube. And just to the right of it, I'll make another sketch. And this will be the right-hand side of that cube. And what we're going to see is I can continue doing this, and I can generate each of the different sides that make up this solid object. Ta-da! So, we have the front of the cube, we have the top of the cube, we have the right side, we have the left side, we have the back, and we have the bottom. Okay, and these are the six faces, and we can see they are all perfect squares, and this is a multi-view drawing. In fact, this idea shouldn't be that uh, crazy. If you remember back in elementary school, or maybe middle school, you made something called a net. Uh, and a net was basically, how do you make a 3D shape out of flat paper? Well, if you took six cubes and you drew them all together and you folded it up, you would wind up with a solid model. Right, kind of like this. Here's our six faces all joined at the correct edges and they've even added some tabs here so you could fold them up and glue them together. Right, and when we're all done, we've got our cube with square faces.